ls intake, username, ls intake. The idea behind this project was to try and find out the effect surface roughness has on the mass flow rate of air through an intake manifold. Theoretically, the amount of power generated by the engine would also be affected if the mass flow rate changes. You can never have enough power. The problem was simpl simplified to one intake runner of an LS intake manifold. This was done in order to fit the restraints for number of nodes within Fluent. With the intake runner, three different surface roughnesses were compared, cast iron, aluminum, and plastic, which are three common materials for intakes. In order to decrease the size of the elements for meshing, the size and complexity of the intake runner geometry was decreased drastically. Even with the simplified geometry, the size of the nodes still caused issues with the accuracy of the results. Shown below is the mesh of the intake runner with a mesh size of really small, which created a lot of nodes. A curvature size function was used along with a body sizing adjustment. An inlet and outlet face were created to help define the boundary and initial condition. The outlet was set to a pressure outlet with zero pascal gauge pressure and a turbulence intensity of 5% and a hydraulic diameter of 0 0.03556 meters. This represents the cylinder that the air is being forced into. The inlet was set to a pressure inlet with a pressure of 10 psi or 68,947.6 pascal and a turbulence intensity of 5% and hydraulic diameter of 0 0.03556 meters. This represents the pressure created from a supercharger or turbo flowing through the intake. For definition of a turbo, see image to the bottom right of the screen. The boundary condition for the wall is where the surface roughness was changed for each material. The roughness constant was left at 0 0.5 for uniform roughness, and the roughness height was set to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00015 meters for plastic, 0 0.0008 meters for cast iron, and 0 0.00001 meters for aluminium. The viscous K omega model was used along with the default solver setup. Results. There is not much of a difference in mass flow rate between plastic and aluminium. Both had a max mass flow rate of 0 0.55 kilograms per second, which is 0 0.05 kilograms per second greater than cast iron. The similar results between the plastic and aluminium is reasonable since the values for roughness are extremely close. Being able to show a difference between plastic and aluminium would require a finer mesh with more nodes and elements than Fluent allows in the student version. Cheap MSU, we need the pro version in here. The mesh size had to be set as small as possible before the results started to vary between the different materials. I believe this is due to the fact that the element size was greater than the roughness of the surface and was not affecting the results. Here's the mass flow rate for cast iron, mass flow rate for plastic, a mass flow rate for aluminium. If you want to take a closer look, rewind and pause. Conclusion the 0 0.05 kilograms per second of air flowing through the intake into the cylinder would greatly increase the capability of the engine to produce more power. Since there is no difference bet shown between plastic and aluminium, plastic would be a greater choice for an intake manifold due to the lighter weight. I was expecting a difference in the flow rate from the different materials, but not one this significant. 0 0.05 kilograms per second is, substan is a substantial amount of airflow and will allow a significantly greater amount of fuel to be added. Thank you.